Yeah, first thing, just a ton of respect for Lamar. Um, I, I think when you look back over the last month, I think they've won five or six in a row coming into tonight and started with a win against Stephen F. Austin. Um, I thought Coach Price has done a tremendous job with his team. His staff rallied. Um, his kids played extremely hard um, to get to this point. They won two games, and obviously last night was an emotional win for them, uh, beating San Houston State. And we knew um, – the start of the game would be important. You know, we knew, we knew if we got off to a good start tonight, um, that would help us. And I thought our guys did a tremendous job of doing that and kind of wearing them down. We, we played a lot of guys tonight, uh, and I think we wore them down. And, and, and that just goes to them playing three games and, and that being our first. So I think a lot of credit goes to our guys in the regular season by getting the double bye. I thought the double bye really helped us uh, tonight. But a lot of credit to Lamar. Got a lot of respect for Coach Price, uh, their program, and how they do things. Uh, he's been a friend of mine for a long time in this business and, and just really happy for his success. Thank you. First question is from Evan. Can I mute your hey, co hey, Coach Golding. Um, this is, I think you said, one of the, the first time in a long time where you've had pretty much everyone healthy. How good did that feel? And what was it like to see everyone healthy and contributing tonight? Yeah, I, I thought it was a big uh, big key for us coming into KD was, was getting a week off to get some rest and get healthy. I think these two guys beside me, uh, they were happy Clay was back. We got back in our rotation of being able to, you know, we have four bigs that we throw in and out of there uh, two at a time and, and kind of try to wear people out. And the last couple of weeks here down the stretch, these two plus Joe have had to play a lot of minutes. So uh, I think having Clay back, uh, obviously a little rusty tonight, but he got back in the flow. And um, I, I think he'll be a lot better tomorrow just getting back in there. But um I thought Corey was good too. Um, so it's probably the healthiest we've been since Mandy got hurt. And I think that's a big plus. You know, this team is really good when we have all of our pieces, you know, and uh, we have all of our pieces right now and it shows tonight. Next question is from JD for Coach. Yeah, Coach, this is Joey from the Reporter News. You know, I was impressed with how you guys started the game. I mean, you know, uh, um, not, not just poised, but this team came out very confident and almost with the swagger, and that's exactly how they played. Yeah, you know, we've won 21 games, or, or 22 now, you know, and this team's confident. We've won a lot of basketball games. We've been in a lot of different environments. Uh, we've played a lot of different styles of basketball, and uh, our guys are excited to get to KD. You know, I know it's been talked a lot about this week, but, um, you know, a year ago, man, we got to the front door here and we couldn't get in, and rightfully so, man. COVID hit. Uh, we made the right decision as a league and around the country to, to put a halt to things, and we've seen over the past year how, how COVID is, has gone, and I'm just so thankful uh, for uh, – you know, not just the South of the Conference, but every league across the country for giving these kids a chance uh, and the opportunity to play. These kids want to play, and um, it, it's been a lot of fun, uh, uh, you know, letting them uh, play this year. You know, that la last year at this time was an emotional meeting when, when you don't get the opportunity to compete on the floor. So uh, I know these guys were excited to get down. We basically have our whole locker room back from last year that didn't get a chance to compete. Um, so I, I know these guys were excited to get out here. Well, talk a little bit about, about Arian. I mean, evidently Lamar didn't get the memo that you've got to guard him anytime he's, he's, he's inside that three-point line or even around the three-point line, and, and he just had a phenomenal first half. Yeah, he's been doing that all year for us. He's a winner. He's a tough kid. Um, he's, uh, he just uh, does, does a little bit of everything for us. What I loved about him is after he hit those threes, he didn't settle, man. The next possession, he shot, fakes, and drives it. So uh, he's really got a great basketball IQ. Uh, he just steps up and makes big plays. Uh, and uh, – He's been working, man. He, he's been working the dive spot. Him and Colton work really, really good together uh, and even guard a little bit tonight. Guard a lot better than he has. Yeah. Talk a little bit about what, what's going through your mind there at halftime. You guys got a big lead and everything. And that, I mean, was there any concerns about them coming back or did you just know the way this team plays defense that, that that's not going to be a problem? Uh, halftime coach was telling us to have a chip on our shoulders, so we just stood up to it and stand for it. Stand by. I think we uh, we learned a lesson at uh, UCA. Um, we got comfortable, um, and then it's, it's game run, basketball's game run. So I think uh, we learned a lesson there, and we uh, this is when it really matters. So I think uh, we transitioned well. Next questions are also for the student athletes. Uh, John, you may unmute your line. Thank you. Uh, yeah, one question for each of you. Uh, separate questions, though. So for Arian. I wanted to know, um, apparently there's a new memo that you can also make three. So I was wondering, was it just that you had good looks or was it something where you felt in the zone tonight? And for Colton, as one of the older guys on the team who's been in a conference championship game before and won it a couple of years ago, 
what message do you have for the younger guys, either about what it takes to prepare or what it takes to win a conference championship? Well, uh, but, uh, before we uh, came to game in practice, the Wilson ball is like, I've been playing for him like, for a long time, so I just had a feel for it, just bringing back high school memories. <laughs> Yeah, for the for the younger guys, um, I just take it back uh, last year. You know, the seniors they didn't get to they didn't get to come to Katie. So I think uh, we don't take games off for granted. Um, you know, tomorrow's not guaranteed. So I think the biggest thing for me for the for the younger guys is just to continue to push. And uh, this run was was built in the summer with our strength coach. So I think that was the biggest thing to get us where we are today. Next question is from Brandon. Brandon, you may unmute your line. Thank you. Uh, guys, first off, congratulations on the win. Question is for both student athletes. Uh, now that you've got your team together and you're 100%, do you think that you guys have played your best basketball up to this point, despite the fact that as good as you guys have played, do you think you guys can get even better? I mean, there's always room for improvement. Um, we got to take care of the ball. we got to rebound better. Uh, we gotta, we got to pay attention more to scout. Uh, don't let someone get, get going early and they can affect us the rest of the game. So, Obviously, we can get better. There's, there's no room to uh, be complacent. So, I have to piggyback on what you said. Uh, on improvement, yeah. So, still not take care, take care of the ball better. Rebound, defend, talk. We have time for an additional question. Uh, John, you have a, co a question for Coach. Yeah, just in terms of uh, prep for Nichols, I believe you've only played them twice in three years. So is it just something where you have to stay up all night watching old film, or how is the preparation going to go? Yeah, it's going to be a long night, man. Um, you know, we haven't seen them this year yet. And uh, so obviously our assistant coaches have been working hard behind the scenes. I've stayed focused on Lamar uh, the entire time uh, because that was our next opponent. That's our motto here. And uh, now we'll move on to the next game. So obviously a lot of respect for Nichols. They're the conference season champs. Uh, that they, they won this league um, and uh, they got the number one seed. So we got a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, we're going to have to really, um, uh, you know, uh, watch a lot of tape tonight, come up with a game plan. I, uh, you know, obviously they, they, they ran through the league 14 and 2. Uh, I think they've won in 17 or 18 games. Uh, I know they got some good Division one wins. Uh, they, they just, uh, they, they can really, really, really score the basketball. I know that. And, uh, um, you know, they, they deserve to be in the championship game, you know. And so uh, I think it's, uh, it's uh, two good teams going at it. Uh, I know the Southland Conference has got to be excited about that, uh, to see the number one and the number two seed uh, play uh, for the championship on Saturday night. So we're just honored to have the privilege to be there Saturday night. And uh, I'm sure Austin feels the same way, uh, and rightfully so. He's got a great team. Uh, he does a heck of a job. He deserved to be coach of the year. Um, he's just uh, continued to build that program and show consistency year in and year out. And um, I'm proud of Austin. And uh, so I'm in the hotel today, and then we had a great conversation and uh, happy for him and uh, look forward to competing against them tomorrow night.